And I never, ever, ever expect you to get all these reels with the complicated music theory. I mean, like, ever, never, ever did I expect that or do I expect it? No, I think that just made for me. Or, yeah, you may try one of those simple rhythms if you want to, just for the fun or not. There are so many different levels on those. There's like from simple to highest complicated I mean literally super complicated and they're also kind of useless so that's uh, for me because when you play those very complicated chords like the sis 7 and 9 and this and that but when you play those you don't need a real you already do play it and since I'm sitting here I can't have a piano I kind of prepare my head for certain things and yeah I find it uh, interesting Sometimes it's a little bit challenging, just to remember, because I have to actually feel into it. Yeah, of course I can make a theory out of it. Yeah, I also could look it up, of course. But the idea is not that exactly that. It's I am getting out of these complicated... What, what harmony is this, for example? What chords? I get a feeling for it. I'm sympathetic to it, but I don't think anybody else is. Like I said, if you actually play so much piano, then you don't need those little reels, you already know, do know it. So I do not expect anybody to understand that, ever. I mean, ever, never, ever. <sighs> and now since you may not have asked, but I'm telling you anyway. Remember, I am from Germany, I studied music in German. Yeah, auf Deutsch. And then I entertained a little bit in Mexico, that's auf Spanish. So I never was involved with anybody of English in English. That means all these terms I had to learn. I'm still on it, actually. How do you call this? What I know in two different languages or maybe in four different languages, but I'm not sure how you say it in English. Yeah, it's just a different language again. So for me, it's kind of good to, to build up my vocabulary. and the music is here, theory. To communicate in a way, maybe. Because I like to know stuff. Yeah, I might be able to do it without knowing how it's called, but that's not the point here. It's delegate to. I do want to know it all in theory as well. Now, if you take a few tools, like say you take a cake mix and you throw a little bit of milk in it and you cook it that doesn't make you a baker right yeah the cake might be right there but it doesn't make you a cook or a culinary expert or somebody who is understanding what just happened so taking some one of these rhythm, rhythmical harmonical machines doesn't make you a musician even though you can maybe produce a sound the extrasa, attention, knowledge, knowing, and the practice of getting into what is music, it takes a very, very long time and it refines every single human being who actually enters into that world. It is only then when you practice hard and when you actually acknowledge things in your physical experience that you can call yourself someone who has any knowledge about music and you might be far away from being a musician. Is this perhaps just to show you? This little reel about the voice. I don't know, I have to look. What is it about? friends you can sing the same notes again no and it can sound like a higher voice or like a lower voice depending on how you put your 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 i don't know what it means to you is it to soothe me don't you worry but you're already in the contra alto you just haven't used the repertoire 
I know. There is repertoire. I sing, you know, more deeper, like Mon Coeur Soubre Ta Voix. I sang it once a little bit. It's for a deeper voice, so the sound is a little bit deeper, but the music itself invites. There's other notes I can sing, lower notes. I can make them sound higher because it's according to maybe it's a Mozart aria, for example. Mozart aria never comes like, oh, oh, it always is like lighter. I don't know, I adjust to the style. Or is it for, that's the other consideration I had, like when bass boys do this, I'm a tiny other bass. Yeah. It hurts my throat and put that big deep in the throat. Yeah, the Mexican did that for fun. Oh, Pagliacci, I'm Pavarotti. No, I didn't say it, I'm Pavarotti. It was funny, but it's not singing. But in order to get there, you still have to exercise your voice, to put your voice in different parts. It takes a while. But yes, if you want to imitate a diva voice and don't have it, you look like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Wait again. Wait again. Wait again.